Hello everyone and welcome to another episode. I want to continue with my last story. Um, yeah, I was in Angeles City 2013 and after one month I decided I want to go to Cebu because I heard from many people Cebu is the best place in the Philippines. So I was, like I told you, I was chatting with two girls from Cebu. One was Cleofe from Ming Lanilia, and the other one was uh, Shalu from Santander. Santander is in South Cebu and Ming Lanilia is um, close to Cebu City. So at the end, I decided to go to Ming Lanilia, to Cleofe, because we had a better connection while chatting. Of course, Shalu was very sad. She was hoping that I come to her, but yeah, that's life. I can only go to one person. So I bought a ticket to Cebu and uh, she did not pick me up at the airport because we agreed that she will pick me up at the mall because the airport was too far away for her. So I was going to the mall and then we agreed to meet at the entrance. I was sitting on the stairs because I was tired of walking and then I think she was already there but she did not say hello she was a few minutes just um, looking at me and but um, I did not see her but then after a few minutes she came to me said hello so that was very exciting always the first meeting of any woman abroad that's always a very exciting experience and then we drove together home where she lives it was a long way maybe 40 minutes or even one hour because of the traffic and during the drive uh, we both have been nervous but we talked a little bit and then when we arrived in Minglanilia um, she said we take motorbike taxi so we both together with a driver on one motorbike I had a big backpack like a typical backpacker so the motorbike was very loaded and then we drove up the mountain. From, uh, we started in the center of Minglani and then we drove in the, in the mountains. And it was a very long way going up. Um, I got nervous because <laughs> I didn't know where, where she brings me because it was uh, pretty far away from the center. And then after the cement road, we drove another road that has no cement and then yeah she we arrived at her family house and her family um, yeah were very nice to me um, she she showed me the room where i have where i'm going to stay they had a, a good house, you can say. It was, they had a big living room with kitchen, uh, two sleeping rooms, one bathroom and one additional room for working and sleeping for the mother. So me and Kleife, we had our own room together. And yeah, that's the start of our relationship. And 
Yeah, it was in the mountains, in the nature. It was a very nice place to live. And when you go down to Minglanilia, to the city center, you can take a motorbike for 10 peso going down. Yeah, I had a very good time. I was the one buying for my own food, I guess, yeah. Because I was always eating chicken with rice. I did not buy the rice because rice was always there from the family, but I always bought the chicken for myself because that's what I can eat in the Philippines. And yeah, I can say she took care of me very well. And we had a good relationship. I was there four months living with her family. And no problem at all. And then my my time has come to an end. That I had to go back to Germany to start studying. Because I took a one year break from after high school. And yeah, the one year was over after I spent four months with her. And then we continued our LDR, long distance relationship, while I was a student in Germany. So that was the first part, how I met Cleofi and living with her family. I have also videos uh, of her and me in our in my YouTube channel if you like to see yeah and in the next episode I will talk about our uh, long distance relationship because it was three years yeah. that's all for today and if you want to know how the story continues you can uh, watch the next episode next week okay then thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye